Four and JP joins us now on 30 Clubs in 30 Days. JP, good to see you, man. Uh, you have found a home in Seattle. Did, did you need a change of scenery from your uh, from your days in Philadelphia? Um, yeah, I kind of felt like coming over here. It was a breath of fresh air. You know, I was coming over here, um, showing showing everybody what I could do. It was just a restart, and you know, like you said, it found a home. So happy to be here. And, and what? can you do is still a question because you're still so young mid-20s I see power in that bat developing do you see yourself as someday being a slugging shortstop a guy that can hit 20 to 25 home runs oh yeah um, I definitely see it um, this offseason I've been working with our hitting coaches that you know showing the swing up sometimes I get a little long in in my path so just trying to clear that stuff up and you know just calm things down and not trying to kill the ball every at bat and, you know, just trying to get on base for my teammates. Uh, there's been a competition at second base, your double play partner. It looks like Moore's going to get the uh, first crack at it. Is that an adventure when, when you're a young shortstop, when you kind of go into camp not knowing who to get that synergy with at, at second base? Oh, no. Um, Dylan Moore and Shed Long, you know, both great second basemen. Um, they both work hard every day, and we get work in every day. So I'm real comfortable with both of them. You know, Demo's really good defensively over there. So, you know, it doesn't matter who's over there. It's, we're going to turn some double plays, and we're going to be solid. So you're looking at the AL West right now, and the A's still have a lot of pitching. Uh, they've tinkered at the click they always do. No more Hendricks in the back end. The Angels have manned up. Otani looks amazing. Of course, we know they got Trout. Uh, and then the Houston Astros giving it one more go, bringing Michael Brantley back. Where do uh, – where do the Mariners fit in to that equation in your eyes for 2021? I think it's wide open for any team. Um, we got our bullpen back, so I think that was one of our main things we needed to um, add, add to. So um, with our lineup the way it is and our defense the way it's setting up, I think we have a good shot. So, I mean, don't count us out either. I think we have a really good shot. We all believe that we could win. So, I mean, watch out for us. It's amazing, man. I remember when you were you were young, like – way young even before you were drafted i got some video if you don't mind me sharing because i'm a huge dom smith fan <laughs> i'm a huge dom smith fan he's on the left you're on the right no. i mean look at this video this is from the urban youth league isn't this amazing <laughs> what a throwback man jesus that would have been at least almost a decade ago isn't it crazy? How happy are you for Dom Smith to break out like he did last year? Oh, man, you know, he wish nothing for the best for my boys, man, especially Dom. You know, he's MVP candidate, you know, the year he had. I mean, it was, it was only time coming for him. You know, sky's the limit for that guy. He works hard every day. So, I mean, it's nothing surprising for me. He's been doing this since we were 12. That was funny, man. I'm glad I could share that. I'm glad you reacted the way you did. Because you just don't know when you see old footage of yourself. But that was a lot of fun. J.P. Crawford, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your time. Have a great 2021, okay? No, thanks for having me on.